Hi everyone, Coach Alexa here. Quick video today. Why is it that when people come to me asking for uh, injury advice, uh, particularly something that's happened uh, recently, do I say go and see a physio? Because primarily physiotherapists are qualified to assess, diagnose and then come up with a treatment plan for injuries. Running coaches aren't sports massage therapists, generally speaking, aren't sports therapists, slightly different, are, doctors are. So that you need to go to the right person to get the right advice. It's very, very tempting and very easy to go down the route of Googling and searching, going, oh, I've self-diagnosed myself with shin splints or whatever it might be. But actually, our bodies are really complicated. So take the elbow joint, for example. If I get elbow pain, that could be caused by the, the mechanical part of the joint, the surrounding bone, a myriad of muscles, a good 15 to 20 muscles that attach over the elbow joint, all the tendons that are attached to those muscles, whole host of different ligaments around that elbow joint. So there's so many things that could be going on and causing pain. And also a really good rule of thumb from the world of physiotherapy is to not just look at where the pain is, to find where the problem is. So you might have elbow pain, as I have had in the past, because there's a problem in my neck that is impacting the nerve that goes through that elbow joint. So that's why it's useful to talk to a physio. It's like, you know, if you uh, your car won't start, you probably don't immediately start Googling the answer. You're probably, well, most people, would ring the AA or their local mechanic or the garage that they use for servicing because you know that they're going to have the diagnostic equipment, they're going to have the knowledge, they're going to be able to go through the tests, find out exactly what the problem is in the whole myriad of different parts that make up the car and hopefully replace the right bit and fix it. So that's what we're looking from for our physio to get the correct diagnosis, because that is what determines your uh, treatment plan. And that is what uh, will really increase the likelihood of that um, injury being quickly um, and efficiently fixed. And it's also worth bearing in mind the other aspect to this is running injuries whilst training load volume. Uh, we've talked about this a lot in the past. Um, is, is a, often a factor in running injuries. So building up the distance or speed or frequency of your runs too fast, not allowing enough recovery and adaptation time. It's not the only cause. So as an example, you know, you might get a runner that has um, come in with a foot problem and that foot might just be hurting before and during, uh, sorry, during and after their, their runs. But it might not be caused by the running. It might be caused by the fact that they're wearing ill-fitting shoes the rest of the time or in fact one foot is developed slightly differently to the other um, or perhaps they, they've got a bone that's a slightly different shape in their foot to usual. Um, so you know it's not always the running that is the cause we're all different we're all built differently we've all got different shapes sizes and geometries of, of skeleton muscles ligaments tendons so there may be other things at play. Another one I see a lot of is the muscle weakness, muscle tightness patterns that show up in running when we challenge our body. Actually, the root cause can be sitting on our bums in front of a computer all day, which isn't great for us. So that's why it's always good to go to a physio. They will look at the bigger picture. A good physio will look at the bigger picture, try and work out what the root cause is, fix that root cause. Much better than asking unqualified people on the Internet. And that includes... Running coaches, if they've not got an additional qualification, we are not qualified to diagnose, uh, assess and treat injuries. Hope that's helpful.